we are back again for another Tweak Town video and today we're looking at the Sharkoon QuickPort USB 3. You've seen these types of devices before I'm sure. Some, some call it the toaster. This is the, uh, the package here for the QuickPort and it, we've also been sent a USB 3 host controller. I believe it's uh, based on the uh, NEC chip. So let's uh, unpack this thing and give you a look inside. We start off with the quick pot itself. So um, you have a look at the package here, lots of details in the box to give you information about the product. The big one here, of course, is that it's USB 3 and it supports up to 5 gigabits per second or around uh, 300 megabytes per second. So let's open it up now and have a look what's inside. Okay, first of all, we've got the cable. This is a uh, USB cable. How about we open up this plastic and give you a closer look. Um, this is maybe the first time you've seen a USB 3 cable and it's easy to tell it's USB 3 because the connectors are blue and the connectors on your motherboard and on the PCI card are blue as well. So that's the USB 3 cable. That's the device itself. Put that to the side for now. Um, we've got a uh, little bit of a quick start guide here with some uh, information on the product. We've got the power connector here and let's take a uh, bit of a look at it there and we're coming nice and close. You can see it's 100 to 240 volts so this will work everywhere around the world. Um, what's interesting is one of the, it's one of these power adapters that come with a removable power socket and they have included a couple others here in the package. I believe this is like an EU uh, UK connector if I'm correct there and there's another one here which to be honest I'm not sure exactly what region that's from. Now here we go here's a look at the Sharkoon Quick Connect USB 3. Um, it's basically the same design as you've seen before but inside um, it supports USB 3. So you know your hard drive sits in here it does support a, either a 2.5 inch or a 3.5 inch hard drive so that means you can put in a uh, SSD here which is really nice and you're about to see the performance with the uh, USB 3. Coming around to the back you've just got the uh, power connector here this is the power in and this is the USB 3.0 port here. It is a little bit disappointing to see there's no serial ATA um, but what is good news USB 3 this is backwards compatible with USB 2 so um, if you don't get the optional USB 3 host controller card or your motherboard doesn't support USB 3 because not many do at the moment um, you're still able to use USB 2 albeit just a little bit slower. Uh, so that's a look at the Sharkon Quick Connect. What we're going to show you now is the host controller card that uh, is sold separately but uh, Sharkoon were kind enough to send it along so we can have a look at it. So we'll open up the package now. Just a small little box here as you can see. Um, we've got a just an installation guide here that uh, just tells you how to get it installed. Um, it is a PCIe 2.0 controller so it means it is PCI one times but if you plug it into a PCIe 2.0 you're going to see more performance than plugging into an older motherboard that's PCIe uh, 1.0. So let's open this up now. We do have a couple other, we've just got a little small little driver CD in there in case Windows 7 or your other operating system cannot pick it up. So let's pull, pull this little card out now. It's real tiny, but there you go. This is a look at the Sharkoon USB 3 PCIe 1x 2.0 controller card. On the back, you get two USB 3.0 controllers. You can see it's based on the NEC uh, chip here. There is a Molex power connector here that you'll need to hook in to power, power the card. As for the installation, first of all we'll start off with a uh, 3.5 inch hard drive. We've got an old one here from Seagate. So what you do, you, you'll notice the uh, connectors here, the SATA and uh, the power connectors. So when we get a look inside the device you can see the connectors there. So it's just a matter of uh, matching it up here. So we turn it around this way and just like a toaster, hence the name, you just uh, plug it in like so and it sits in there. 
just like that. Very simple um, and effective design. And when you're finished, um, all you have to do is push this up, push this uh, button here, and it pushes it out and uh, releases the hard drive from the toaster. Now, what's interesting as well, as we've said, this device also supports 2.5 inch drives, so that means SSDs. So a similar type of thing here, um, you know, you just match up the connectors here, match it up with the uh, connectors on your drive, and then all you have to do, we'll put it down, is just put it into place there and it sits in there like so. Um, there's a indent or a hole here that's been cut out to support a 2.5 inch drive as you can see here. And when you want to, when you want to eject the drive, you just push this button and it pops out. Again, just like a toaster. Here we see the drive operational. There is a blue LED light there to indicate USB 3 and a red flashing LED to indicate activity. So that's been your quick look at the Sharkoon quick port USB 3 and the PCI Express controller card. Head on over to the storage section over at Tweaktown and look for this review because there are uh, full benchmarks comparing USB 2 to USB 3. So this has been Cameron for Tweaktown. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and come back again soon for more video content.